In this next example, I want to show a couple of bonus tools. One is a tool for quickly setting uh, the pivot for your object. So you'll notice right now if I rotate this object, it's rotating around its center point. Sometimes you want to rotate it around an existing edge and or a, an existing facer or, or component in general. So what you can do is select the edge now, and I can come over here to this tool, Move Pivot to Component Center, and that will automatically align the object's component with the, uh, or rather snap the object's component to that component. So again, if I wanted to grab something like a vertice and reset that, now that becomes my new rotation point for my object. So that's one tool. And then now that I've done this, now let's say I wanted to go in and not only stack this, or rather set this onto the ground, which I can do simply by stacking or snapping, uh, but let's say I also wanted to go in and lean this up against one of the walls, something like this. But you can see if I manually do it, it's a little tricky because it's easy to kind of interpenetrate uh, that wall. So what I'm going to do is use a bonus tool that allows you to do this and, and in a very accurate way. So the tool is called Orient Mesh to Vert and or Edge. Go into the options for this and what you'll see here is options for setting your, your rotation axis. So the first thing I need to do is figure out which axis I'm using, and that is the x-axis. And then I want to basically align using uh, the object axis x, and I want to align that to a, an edge on the wall. So you're basically working from the pivot, looking out through a vert on the object, and then aligning that to an edge on a target object. So I'll just give you a little warning, ask you if you want to do it, and then when you apply, then you get a perfect alignment of that object laying against the wall. So if I were to repeat this, let's say I create this object as a copy, and now I go in and I repeat that, again, this time aligning this corner and instead of the wall to the other object, now you can see I get a perfect lean of one object leaning onto another, leaning onto the wall. So it's something that would be very difficult to do otherwise. Now another example would be if I had a picture frame or something I needed to frame onto a wall, that's easy to do if it's already aligned with the wall, but which it is in this case, it's just aligned with the world. But what if I were to take this wall and skew it so that it's got a weird angle? Now how am I supposed to line those two up? Well, you can manually do that and just kind of eyeball it, or you can do it in a very accurate way using the same tool I showed before. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in, grab the corner pivot of this object, and I'm going to set my object pivot to that corner. That would allow me then to use my just my standard snapping to go in and hold C and middle click on the edge of the wall and that will constrain or rather kind of lock the position of that to the edge. And now I just want to orient that to the wall. So I simply go in and use the same tool I used before, orient mesh to edge. And this time I can go in and I can use a vert on the wall or I can use an edge. In this case actually either would work. But I want to basically figure out which axis I'm rotating. So this is the Y axis. So I go and set this to the Y axis. I'll align this to a vert. So I'll go from the corner vert of this frame to a corner of the wall. And remember it's locking to a specific axis. So now that it does that, you can see there that that object is aligned perfectly to the wall. And if I move in object mode, then it's going to move along that wall, scale along that wall, and so on. So with the last example I want to show, another tricky thing is to lean an object onto the corner of another object. You can see that I can get pretty close there, but I can't quite get, get it perfect. I'm either going to have a gap between the two, like so, or I'm going to penetrate between the two. So you can use the same tool in a situation like this. So this time I'm rotating around X. I'll go into the tool, set my axis to X. I'm working in the object space. And this time I'm going to use the vert on a target object. So I want to basically use the pivot, which is at this corner. I'm going to align this corner, and I'm going to use this corner as my target. Now when I hit enter, it's going to lean from one object onto the next, and I'll have a perfect alignment of one object basically stacking or leaning onto another. Again, something that would be very tricky or difficult to do otherwise.